Parker. Yeah. You want to hear about the Scarlet Witch? Yeah. All right. So let me tell you about the Scarlet Witch. To know really how the best thing about the Scarlet Witch is that she's evolved over time. And to really understand her power level, I really can only talk about one very specific comment. I probably could talk about a few. I said comment. Comic. I could probably talk about a few, but the comic that really shows her power level is called House of M. Okay. I know this one. Yeah. So let me give you a precursor to that. Something very simple. There was a comic called Avengers Disassembled. <laughs> and uh, this happened six months before House of M. The short story is that the Scarlet Witch, unable to control her powers, has a psychotic break and kills three Avengers. And then makes a lot of bad things happen as well. Okay? Yeah. Do you want to know the three Avengers? Should I tell you? Can I guess? Sure. Okay. I'm going to guess... Hawkman. Mm-hmm. Spawn. Mm-hmm. And... Tom Holland. Yeah. I love that you're faking that you don't know the Marvel characters. Vision, Ant-Man, and I can't remember the other one. Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yeah, except Hawkeye That's right. kills himself, yeah. technically. Vision throws up himself. No. Yeah. No. Ultrons, Ultrons, Ultrons. No. He throws up a bunch of Ultrons and then he Shh. dies. No, my friend. She-Hulk rips him apart. Yeah, after he throws up a bunch of Ultrons. Okay, sure. But She-Hulk rips him apart. Why, though? Because he throws up a bunch of ultras. Thank you. But that's not how he dies. He he dies by She Hulk ripping him apart. If you're if you're a detective, happy you're you looking know it, for your motive. Okay. <laughs> okay. How did he die? Clearly, right. you're the Batman guy. Motive. I wanted the money. Okay. How did he die? Murderer killed him because they wanted his money. Okay. So you're just saying murderer. I'm giving the full story. Yeah, it's just, I think you know director, visuals. <laughs> I'm a child. I'm right. aware. Okay, so the the long and short of it is that the Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff, has a psychotic break and kills a bunch of uh, the Avengers. Uh, kind of inadvertently, kind of... It's not like she's like, bang, shoot him in the head. It's just the, the things that she sets in place kills them. Yeah. Cool. So she's had the psychotic break. Um, her father, Magneto, and Professor X take her away to a place called Genosha. And they try to help her. Okay? Yeah. Because she's got That's psychotic. where they make all the chocolates. Yep. Right? Yep. The circle ones. Mm-hmm. Genosha. Lint. Lint? L-I-N-D-T. Like when you give something up for 40 days as part of your faith? Lent is what that is. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I, get, I told, my teacher told me that I needed to give something up for Lent, something that really matters. She's like something that really, you really love. And I was like, you know what? Every day from, I get, sorry, every day I go home. I have a banana because I love bananas. So I'll give them up for Lent. And she's like, that's not good enough. <laughs> I swear to that's God. That's totally good enough. I swear to God. And I was in first grade. So how old are you in first grade? Like seven, eight or something like that? I think that's really old for first grade. I think that's like third grade. I remember I turned 10 in I fourth you're, grade. You're so just go, kindergarten at like four. I, listen, I turned 10 in fourth grade. So nine, 10 is fourth. Eight, nine is third. Seven, eight is second. Five, six. Six. Six, seven is, is, okay. is first. I can do math. So I was six years old, six or seven. Bananas are great for Lent. Yeah. She told me it wasn't good enough. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, what do I do? This is blasphemous, but that teacher's a dick. She is not nice. Okay. She is. She was a teacher so long that she was my father's teacher. I kid you not. She's a very old nun. I would not want to be your father's teacher. <laughs> Do you want to know her name? I still remember. I still just picture your father the exact same, but as like one, just like smoking a cigar, his hat, just like, hey, what do you want? You know what? On this comment, you know what? It's totally fine to stereotype Italians, but nothing else. <laughs> you just picture my dad as like a mob boss. Oh, yeah. But he's just like. Your dad is really nice, but he is a mob boss. He's, he's a, a dentist. dentist. Like it's but a mob boss dentist. Okay. He runs a gang of dentists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? They're called cleaners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I he like watches that. these, doesn't he? Yes, he does. <laughs> I 
sorry, sir. I have Mr. Quincy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he won't care if I laugh. Yeah. I think it's funny. Um, anyway, the teacher's name is Sister Mary Claire, for anyone who wants to know. She's definitely passed away by now. Bang for sure. It. Bang it. Yeah, bang it. All right. Um, Jeez, we went on far. So, uh, psychotic break. The only people who could help her, the only person who probably could help her are probably Dr. Strange with Mystic Arts and Professor X with, with mental powers, man. Mental yeah. powers, man. Okay, good. So, the comic actually starts off. They go to Genosha. Yeah, to help her. They just take her there because it's far away. Just like, you're going to move hay. And have a good time. I don't know what that means. Like, you know, Winter Soldier moves hay to get better. Yes, like that. But just kind of isolated. Like Winter Soldier goes to Wakanda, isolated. This is just Genosha. For anyone who doesn't know, Genosha is like a place off the coast of Africa, actually, um, where originally it was meant as like some like super paradise island, but uh, it was found out that they were using mutants as slaves and then the mutants broke free and then it was the mutants island and then there was wars. Anyway, it went back and forth, but it kind of became like a mutant safe haven at one point after it was bad. World War G. Yeah. People know about that. Yeah, I don't, but cool. So I made it up. Someone out there is like, yeah, I know that. And they feel like <laughs> an idiot after you made it up. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, it's like they're safe heaven, except the, the place is like destroyed now. So forget it. It, does, it means nothing. But that's like it's, it's a destroyed island. No one's there. Okay. They figure it's safe. Cool. So they take her there and they're helping her. So basically they take her to Genosha, to Genosha because it's safe. Right. No one's there. It's basically like a destroyed island. You know, no yeah. one's going there. That's the perfect place for peace. An island in shambles. I mean, yeah. Okay. No one's around. Every time I need to to take a second and gather myself, I go, maybe I should book a flight to Chernobyl. I mean, just like that. Yeah. It would look like that. That's where I center myself. <laughs> yeah. The the ground isn't radioactive, but yeah. You know, you'd probably get a lot of thinking done in Chernobyl. Yeah. Nothing or, to distract you. Or Auschwitz. Oh man, that's a rough one. That place is heavy. Yeah. Just, you can for, like feel, just to center yourself. No, you can feel the weight of that place. It's heavy. So that's the perfect – they didn't think Hawaii maybe or something like that. No. Just give there's her people some around. waves. No, the problem is there's people around. Okay, Madagascar. Okay. I'm sure people live in a Madagascar, no? Just lemurs. Just dancing lemurs. Is the whole island uninhabited? I don't believe this. Just Sasha Baron Cohen and, and – uh, does he play in the ben Madagascar Stiller. movie? Yeah. I'd like to move it, move it. That's him? Yeah. Oh, man. That's funny. There's a reference I didn't get. There you go. 